Hey again, everyone. Welcome back. So in the previous video, we finished up our state machine, uh, which again is on our anim graph down here inside the My Blueprint window, the anim graph. Uh, there is our locomotion state machine. If we double click it and open it up, these are all the states that we can go through and the transition rules to determine when we can move from state to state. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is update our event graph uh, which will populate these variables that determine when we transition between states. So to do that, let's hop over to the event graph. Uh, so go ahead and click the event graph tab. Uh, if you don't see it inside the My Blueprint window, you can also double click on the event graph here as well to open it up. Uh, so let's continue. Uh, on the event graph here, we have a couple nodes that are silhouetted out. Uh, these are here by default, as you will probably use these 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, the first one here is the Event Blueprint Update Animation. Uh, and what this node actually does uh, is essentially every tick will update any variables or script that we have in here that drives other aspects of our animation blueprint. So for instance, our speed variable, uh, updating that, uh, whether or not we are jumping, uh, updating that as well. Uh, and if we had uh, you know, carrying weapons or anything else that we had uh, in, in our character. We could do that here inside the event graph. So let's continue. Uh, first thing that we're going to do, let me just move this down out of the way a little bit. Uh, actually, the second one, let me mention this really quickly. Uh, the second one, this try get pawn owner, um, what this is essentially doing is checking to get the current uh, player character or pawn. Uh, if you recall, the character is uh, an extension of pawn. So what this is essentially doing is trying to get whatever the current uh, uh, pawn is and accessing uh, that pawn, that pawn's information. So uh, this will make sense in a moment when we start to fill out our script. So let's continue. Uh, first thing we're going to do, drag off, left click and drag off the event blueprint update animation. Uh, we're going to run a check first of all, and this is a little bit of a programmer centric thing, uh, but it will help with some log spam uh, uh, down the road. It's just a cleaner way of doing things. Uh, and in essence, whenever you are working with blueprints, you are essentially programming, but you are doing it in a visual scripting way. So uh, let's just do this just for the sake of, of cleanliness. Uh, what we're going to do is search for is valid. So you see it's in its utility node called is valid, and it determines if an object is valid. And the object that we want to determ determine if it is valid is if we have a current uh, pawn. If we do not, what happens is anything connected to this wire will get executed. If we do, anything that's connected to this wire will get executed. So essentially, if we have a player character, anything that we connect to this will get executed. Otherwise, we don't have a player character, nothing will happen, and we don't uh, overflow our log with spam. So uh, let's connect the return value here. Left click and drag that into the input, like so. And the first thing that we're going to do, let's drag off is valid, and we want to set is in error. So let's set is in error. And this is our is in error variable down here. So go ahead and set that. And the other thing that we're going to want to do is set our speed. So let's drag off this and set speed. These are the two variables that we want to set and update every tick. So now that we have is in error and speed, how do we get how do we determine if the player is in error, is in error and how do we determine what their speed is? Uh, well, there's, uh, fortunately for us, uh, an easy way to do that. We can drag off of our get pawn owner. And once we have that, uh, we can get the movement component. Component, so get movement component. And that movement component will tell us if the character is in error by checking uh, a Boolean is falling. So let's search for is falling. And you can see it gives us a Boolean return value. So if the player is falling, it will uh, set our is in error to true or false. So let's connect that like so. And for speed, uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to drag off of the get pawn owner here. And what we're searching for is velocity. So let's get velocity. And the velocity is basically a direction and a magnitude, essentially. Uh, we want to get the length of that magnitude. And to do that, we can drag off the return value here of this get velocity node and search for vector length, like 
so. That's going to give us a float value that we can then plug into our speed. So let's go ahead and drag and plug that into our speed, like so. And let's compile and save. And that is it. That is all we need to do for our event graph. It's pretty simplistic for uh, our purposes, but it will get us started. It will tell us if we are in air. It will tell us how fast we are going. Uh, and that's all we need for now. Uh, we still don't have a way of actually getting the movement component because we haven't created a blueprint or a character blueprint yet uh, that will hold that movement component. Uh, so uh, we, it will not work yet, but uh, in the next video, we will create our character blueprint and begin uh, adding the components that we will need uh, for our character character blueprint. So with that, let's pause here, uh, and we'll pick it up in the next video working on our character blueprint. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.